Hey guys, Knight here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the Monty Hall problem. This was brought up to me by a YouTube channel by the name of Numberphile. Basically, I want to talk to you guys about their argument, then I wanted to prove to you why they are wrong. So first, let us start with this first slide that you're looking at right now. They state that your best bet is to select the first door every single time you play and to switch. They confirm that this will give you a 2 out of 3 chance of winning. Let me illustrate that for you right now, okay? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle these right here just to symbolize that this is the door, the row that we're going to be taking every single time, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, so you pick the first door, okay? He picks one of these and marks it off. So now that leaves this door. So now what you do is you went from here to here and then now he reveals and unfortunately you lost the game. Okay. So now we come over here. Okay. So do it again. So you pick the first door. He reveals one as of not being it. So now you switch and now you go over here and now you win. So now you do it again. So again, you pick here, he marks one off, you were here, and now you switch, and now you win, okay? So they are right. In this situation, you do in fact have a two out of three chance of winning if you pick the first door and you switch every single time, okay? Technically, they're right. All right, so with that covered, let me prove it wrong. Take a look at this. What do you notice that is different? Yeah, basically there is no rule that states that he must place the car behind every single door at least once. That statement alone should be enough to prove them wrong. But for the sake of closure, let me illustrate it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do it again. So we're going to grab our yellow color, go to the brushes, grab our yellow color, we're going to circle. We're going to pick these ones first every single time. Nothing's going to change here, okay? So we go red, green, Okay, so basically, we picked door one. Monty knocks off one of the doors. Okay, now we switch. Unfortunately, we lose. And basically, rinse and repeat. Pick one, he knocks off one, you switch, and you lose again. Okay, and then the same thing down here. Okay, you picked one, he knocks one off, you switch, and you lose again. So now, you have a 0% chance of winning. You have a 0 out of 3 chance of winning. Your probability is not there, okay? So there you go, all right? There you have it. I mean no offense by this, and I'm a scientist by nature, and proving other scientists wrong is what we do. So there you have it. The Monty Hall problem. No matter how you break it down, it'll always be a 50% chance of winning. Okay, so thank you for watching. That's it. Have a good one. Peace.